Another way to take back your power is what? Oh yes, right, okay. <laughs> I want you to take your power back. I want you to be a really powerful person in the world. Now, self-confidence and power are different. You can be a very strong, powerful person without being fully self-confident and brave, okay? Hopefully both will happen, but right now I want you to take the power back from your life. So I've got a bunch of tips that's gonna help you do that. But before we get into all that, help support our channel, click that red button and subscribe. Having power doesn't mean you're more powerful than someone else. It means being equal to, but it also means being seen, <laughs> taking yourself seriously, giving yourself a voice, your true self, a voice that needs to be heard in the world. It's really about living large in this world and you don't have to be fully confident to do it. I'm gonna give you some tricks. Okay, tip number one, powerful people sit in the front. They demand to be seen, okay? So that doesn't mean like you push everybody else out of the way, but when you show up somewhere, show up early. Mm -hmm. Sit in the front so you're seen, so that if someone's teaching you something, you get the most from it. They see you, they see your question. So you can do this as a college student, um, if you're taking a lecture, but also like if you're in a board what meeting you know? and there's chairs what everywhere, you like it? put yourself in a place where you will be seen. You don't have to have a lot of confidence to do this. You just have to figure out what chair you'll be seen at. Just go and sit down. That's all you've got to do. The idea is like, it's important to be seen you deserve to be seen just as much as somebody else. So when you get somewhere and it, there's a bunch of seats, don't sit in the back. If there's one open in the front, sit in the front. Tip number two, powerful people ask questions. So even if you think it's a dumb question, most of the time other people have that same dumb question. So put up your mm. hand or ask the question, whatever it is. But if you don't understand something or you want something clarified, it is okay to ask a question. So yes, you have to be a little brave to raise your hand and you have to brave the fact that maybe it might sound stupid, but the information is worth it. And, and powerful people ask questions because they get the information they need to be successful. So powerful people do the work. That's how they get attention. It's not by being loud and obnoxious and doing weird things. It's by showing up on time. It's by doing the work that needs to be done and being true to their word. So they get attention by being powerful, successful, and really good at their job. So you don't have to be brave and do these weird things or, or, or be the, the, the life of the party. If you show up and you really do your work hard, you're going to get noticed and that's power. Take your power back just with your body. You don't have to feel confident to have confident body posture. And we have a whole video about body posture and how to appear confident and powerful without feeling anything. The idea is you can change how you hold your body, how you sit, how you stand. You can stand in a powerful position without feeling powerful. And that is a way to take your power back because one, people see you in that position, they give you power. They just give it to you because you look powerful. And the other idea is the more you're in that powerful position, the more your body starts to feel confident and powerful. So just by changing the way you are carrying your body will take your power back. Powerful people do not waste their time or other people's time. So that means showing up when you say you're gonna show up. That means uh, if you say you're gonna do something, set a timer, I like my timers, but set a timer and do it and get rid of distractions. So powerful people get things done and they don't waste time. That doesn't mean you don't get to have fun, but the fun happens after you finish what you say you're gonna do that will give you a lot of power. So another way to take back your power is to stop comparing yourself and to stop judging yourself. Being patient, knowing that you're where you're at and it's not where you're gonna go. So figuring out what are the next steps, what's the next action I can take to get further along in my journey, not somebody else's journey. This is my journey, I'm gonna do it my way. And I'm not gonna judge myself if I screw up. Okay, great, what information can I get from that? And then I'm gonna take the next action to move me forward. If something bad happens or I fail at something, 
you lose your power by just sitting and beating yourself up because what does that do? It doesn't help you move forward. So if you screw up, you fail, you're like, okay, take stock, right? So like, that didn't work. But you know what? I freaking tried, right? So at least it was a good try. And what can I do differently next time to go forward? That's how we keep our power. That's how we take our power back. And that's how we build success. Finally, this is really important and this is something that I've had to really work on, but take your power back by stop saying, I'm sorry. We say, I'm sorry all the time for things that we didn't do wrong. Stop apologizing for yourself. Now, if you screw up, you do something wrong, say, I apologize. You know, take ownership of what you've done wrong, apologize and move on. But a lot of times we like, do something by accident or it has nothing to do with anything and we find ourselves saying, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We lose power when we do that. Don't apologize for yourself and for taking up space in this world. If you do something wrong, say, I apologize, but see if you can remove I'm sorry from your vocabulary. Take your power back. So start taking up space. Take yourself seriously. Let's let that voice, that true voice inside of you out into the world and take your power back.